So hello everyone, um, this is Bilal, I'm Thomas, we're Team Cocktail Trade and our mission is to make stock trading easy and lower the entrance barriers. So when I started investing in stocks, I was intimidated by all the information. There was so much, but even there was so much information, I could not find the stocks that were interesting to the topics I'm interested in. So usually when I search something on the web, I go to Google, type it in, and the stuff just comes up. And we want to bring this experience to stock investing. So we created Cocktail Trade. It's basically um, an intelligent search engine for stocks. It's an app connected to your um, account. You can just log in and enter any keyword you like. So for example, we're interested in agriculture. So we're looking for stocks that are somehow related to agriculture. And our algorithm rec recommends us a basket of these stocks. And we can also see how they developed during the last six months. Let's take another different, more exotic topic. We can also look for, let's say, laser optics technology. And we will find stocks that are um, interesting for that. We only have German stocks for the demo now. So let's take something where Germany is really big, cars. So we look for cars. What happens in the back when we search? We have an algorithm, what we call stock rank, and it t um, uses multiple uh, data sources to s tell you what are the best stocks. We use fundamental data, we use sentiment data from the news, and we also look at the performance of the stock. And we exactly show you our recommended basket of stocks. Now, if this would be everything, we would still have to evaluate the companies and select when we would buy and sell the stocks. So we didn't stop there we also build a robo-advisor service onto it. I can now just go to the app and tell the app, okay, let's invest 300 euros in these stocks. So we now use the SAP Sentinel API to do a portfolio optimization, check out which stocks we should invest in and how much weight to allocate to each stock. And we also use the trading strategies to decide when to buy and when to sell the stock. So that I have a robo-advisor who gives me recommendations. I can still stay in full control though. Here you can see all the trades that the robo-advisor told me or recommended me to do. These are historical, but it wouldn't be boring if I could only see historical trades. So what we do is whenever you are uh, at, at the end of each day, we will give you a push notification that there is something that you should look into. And the our uh, algorithm recommends you a few trades that you should execute and you can just look at these trades and say, okay, yes, let's execute them. And these are executed right in your portfolio connected with the Comdirect API. So as you can see, stock trading really got into something that is accessible just by using a keyword search. And we also make it accessible since we give you valid recommendations when to buy which stocks. So, um, this was Cocktail Trade. It's, we mix your portfolio according to your interests. Thank you very much. Next up is Best Invest. Four minutes for you guys. Yeah, hello everybody. My name is uh, Stefan Reininger and I present the team uh, Best Invest. Uh, that's the three looking guys, good looking guys here in the third row. And um, yeah, what do we do? We um, find the best financial product for your market expectation easily. And um, here's the problem. I have a market opinion and I want to exploit this market opinion. I want to find the best product for that market opinion. Therefore, I go to a website of a major bank and then I can uh, look for a product and then I see it's a mess. I mean, I have to know what kind of payout profile I have to look. I just have a market opinion. I don't know, want to know what is a knockout bonus certificate. I don't know, want to know what is an ETF. That's stupid. I don't want to know it. And I don't want to enter some yields. Uh, is it quanto or not? So in my opinion, that's not a good user experience. It's, it's for profits or no, I don't know who has built that. And um, we like to approach that differently. And therefore we created Best Invest. Best Invest will find the best product for you in three steps. First, you select the underlying. Second, you draw your market expectation. And third, you find your best product. And when I mean the best product, 
I'm, it, it is the best product. So let's go. I'm entering the name of the underlying. For example, I have an um, idea about um, editors. And then what we got is we get the historical market data um, of editors. We pull that from um, Quanda, I, I guess. And then uh, we get some infos. For example, we use that from our friends from SAP. Um, so we get a sentiment. What is the market saying about the stocks? And now I'm going to enter my market expectation. So I just press here, enter market expectation. And now I have the possibility to draw how will the market behave in the future. So I just say Adidas should go, I don't know, it goes up. So, and what happens now? We analyze the market, and i tell you in a minute how we do that. And then we choose, we present you three products. We don't present you hundreds and thousands of products, we just present you the three best products, and we present you the expected yield, we present you the costs, the running costs, the initial costs, and the reduction of yield because of the cost. Because if you invest money, you need to be aware of the costs. And that's why we provide full transparency. And what you can do now, of course, we will inform you about the product, so we will have to add some links, which gives you a nice explanation video, for example, which, which explains to the product. And then you can directly buy it by our friends from Comdirect Bank and buy this product in your portfolio. That's it. So you see, we have chosen here the bonus certificate on editors when I go up. So if I go down, we should get another product. It's a reverse bonus certificate, so I even can make money in a, in a downward market. And by the way, that's all fresh code. We have started here to do that. And um, I hope I don't get any penalties. I don't have a PowerPoint, but I have a about page. So how <laughs> we are doing this? Um, so there's a new regulation coming up in 17. Um, and this regulation uh, brings transparency to the, to the um, structured market, to the structured product markets. So every manufacturer of a product has to state all the costs I mentioned here. And um, what the regulator uh, thought by himself, you have papers. You have papers where you, ha you have to make three pages per each product, and then you, as an investor, have to look on all the papers. That's ridiculous. So I think we should use something like that. So we will read all the information using, uh, in this side of this key investor documents, using Kit, um, Genie. And then we will uh, calcul calculate the yield and return of the product on the fly. And what we're doing next, of course, we need some more information from the, from the investor. We need a li little bit of uh, information about his risk tolerance. And uh, we would like to improve the comparison. And another idea which came up, we can do a portfolio check, because we can use Figo, for example, to, to get the, well, let's invest in Best Invest. <laughs> Hi, we're the Cash Development Team. Um, our project for this wonderful event is the Social ATM. We try to turn cash into cash. What's, what's cash? Hey. cash? Cash is a real-time multi-channel payment system. It's driven by the BEV and therefore it's fully regulated uh, by the German BaFin. So, um, our favorite um, feature of, of cash is uh, to, to transfer money uh, amongst friends. Um, it's just as easy as uh, sending a uh, WhatsApp or an SMS. Oh, um, I don't think we were supposed to see this one right now, but uh, I'll go ahead and pay off my, my informant about the jury here. and. We'll take, uh, we'll take care of the rest uh, later after the show. Uh, actually, what we wanted to talk about today was our new feature that we built into our cache. We put in a new um, API call in there to take care of what we call social ATM. It's uh, something we've done in the last 30 hours here. We developed the concept, we did the implementation, we've done the tests here, and uh, pretty much taking uh, care of the beer supply here as well. So we got some uh, good, good ideas out of that. We have no mockups here. Everything you see here is live on our system. We have a, a complete running bank system here. What was wrong with us? No fake DUIs and no animals were harmed in making of this app. <laughs> it's just fresh code for fresh features. Um, after the presentation, I'm going to be heading over to the bar. But um, I discovered, man, I don't have any cash right now. I don't, no paper money, so uh, Johannes. Got 20 bucks for me? Sorry, I'm broke. Well, damn it. Okay, it's good that we uh, developed our social ATM here. 
I'll go ahead and take a look and say, I'm going to take a look at uh, what's going on here. Yeah, what we can see, the system is looking around. Um, if there's somebody who can provide or have agreed to provide the desired uh, amount, was it 10 euros? So probably Terry will take Thomas because he's uh, nearby. So. Ah, Terry, you again. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this is Thomas. He has the, the, the cash, the paper money. And, yeah, we can... What happened now, he, he, he says, yes, I, I will give you the money. Uh, on the second phone, we have only one screen. You can hear, he, he, he has agreed. So, yeah, the request has been accepted. He has, he has the paper money. He has the, yeah, it's the other side. Can you show the, the transactions, please? Yeah, now we can see uh, Thomas has 20 euros and he has 20 euros uh, in cash. Yeah, now we'd like to drink some beer with you. Cheers from cash. So, hi everybody. Impressive crowd from up here. So, we are Mia and we wondered why is banking so complicated? Why do I have to have multiple apps on my smartphone to, to manage all my accounts? Why don't I use, just use the most simple app which everybody of you has on your smartphone, the standard messaging app? And that's why we uh, coded Mia, my intelligent account assistant, which works solely on standard messaging apps. We just use Slack for the, dem for the demo here because it's <laughs> fairly the easiest to integrate but it'll definitely work with all other messaging apps. So what you see here is the messaging, like typical messaging timeline, uh, and we start the con conversation with our friend Mia. Just say hello, Mark. So looking forward what Mia might answer. It's not that easy to write hello. The first problem, but <laughs> shouldn't be a big one. So, oh, she always, already mutes me. Oh no, she's just asking, who, who am I? Okay, yeah. My name is Jörg. Just reply to her. So then I can even do this like in the morning when I, I mean the, the, only the only time of the day when I have time to manage my banking is like when I'm driving to work, when I'm commuting in the U-Bahn in Berlin where I don't have any, like I've, I'm working on Edge, I can't open any banking app, it just won't work. But I can use my messaging channels because they will work. SMS always works, somehow. So yeah, she noticed me, me uh, yeah. So first thing I wanna try, I wanna see my last transactions. What happened on my account in the last couple of hours or days. So therefore, we're obviously using the Figo API and just very simple, throws me what happened in the last couple of hours. So I, I saw my, I see my transactions, I already see the categorization for the, for the PFM. Oh, I just got a new transaction. It also pushes new transactions, which just come in and in, into your account. So there I see the amount, I see what, and see it's already categorized to the transaction, to the, to the category I use for my PFM system. Another problem, nobody likes to work with this PFM systems because it's very complicated. So we made that easier. So you can just change the category very fast. And we say, maybe it's not physical, or maybe it's something else. We just use this short handle we placed here so just to identify the transaction and move it to like any other category, whatever that may be. Oh, Jochen, uh, <laughs> thanks for tweeting. <laughs> so, moving this transaction to Gelkart, we have to hurry up a bit and we right now start to upload the, the payment because what I, want to may, what I may want to do, don't care, just go forward, onward with the, with the payment, choose from the library because now I want to pay a bill. I just took a photo of the bill, I have it in my, in my account, so what is happening? It's uploading the file, obviously using Genie uh, here. Now we are wondering what happens with the genie guys, maybe someone in India is starting to read the bill and uh, try to identify it. It lo looks, like a, looks like a doctor's bill, you see? It looks like typical, oh yes, genie's working. Got your diagram and scanning now. So looking forward, if they identify any information. Out of that, genie, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is what not, not should have happened, right? Not just try another picture very fast. Um, try the other one, try the other one. 
so at the moment, yeah, so, uh, no, not that one. Uh, okay, just try it again, just try it again. So, but normally it should just read out the information from the bill, pass it back to me and say, do you really want to pay this amount to this recipient, to this IBAN, and so on, and I would say, yes, just pay that. It was asked me back, you, you should get an SMS ton now, please enter the SMS ton. I'm entering the ton, and then it confirms that the payment is done. So, actually, we have a problem with Gini. That's very sad, but uh, you see, it would be very easy. The, the user interface is so easy, we don't need any UX. And it's, uh, that's me. Thanks. And wonderful. Hey, guys. So, while I'm getting this to work, I'd like to start with a question. Who of you is a freelancer or has ever worked as a freelancer before? What do you think? Raise your hands, please. So it's quite a few, less than I expected actually. I used to be a freelancer and I tried out this, uh, invoicing tools like Fastbill. After the free trial expired, I decided it wasn't worth the money because all the products really sucked. This is why I joined the Bankathon to develop a better solution. Uh, I'm really a fan of my product, so I decided to buy a domain this morning. Let's start by archiving the bill. Okay, here we are, new import. Genie, let's see. We have the invoice, and Genie did an awesome job. It got all the data right, well, except for the invoice number. Let's copy that manually. Yeah, nice. Everything else fits perfectly. Now we got a new invoice. Uh, this says a fast. It's on file. We could pay it now, but unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to send real money from the test account on Figo, so we'll skip that for now. Instead, we got another problem. We can see my liquidity is turning down. I spent too much money lately, so let's build someone else. I used to hate billing. I always did it in Word and which resulted in getting my money really late. Who should be built, who organized the event, and whose fault is this? What about the genie guy? You can either enter a website or you can search your address book. Yes, let's build this man for uh, wasting my money. Let's waste his money. Product placement on stage one. How much is it? What do you think? Give me a number. How much? 500? I agree. 500. And tax. We do automatic tax calculations. Let's add some uh, statements. I, oh yeah, damn it, I can't, uh, I don't have enough revenue, so we don't tax. Lucky for you, you can save the VAT. And now there's another problem. I heard, Chini, it takes quite some time till they pay their bills. It takes 30, 30 days, but I am in immediate need for money. That's a good thing. That's where this guy comes in. It's Philip Calvis from Decimo. Um, if you need money directly, there's a nice service. You just send them your bill, and they'll take care, pay me the same day, and they'll deal with Chini uh, and make sure they get the money. The best thing about it, is not only that the user will get his money, but also that I, as a developer, will get a small commission. I'm going to release the software as open source for you. It'll be free. If you want to support the development and the maintenance, press this button from time to time, get your liquidity and support me. Thank you, guys.